Good Sunday, everyone. Our weather map for today shows an active weather day up across North Dakota and South Dakota and Western Minnesota. Those folks will be weather aware today. And that is the most active region um, on our weather map. Got a flash flood risk around the Chicago area there in northern Illinois. But other than that, just isolated to scattered pop-up showers and thunderstorms in the heat of the day expected across much of the rest of the country that you see shaded there in green. And we certainly can't roll out an isolated shower or storm right here on the plateau. Clearview Closet and Blind brings us our five-day forecast, and that shows right here in our five-day an isolated risk for a shower or storm today and tomorrow. Highs in the low 90s, and folks, that humidity is really going to start increasing. You know, we've had some cooler nights here lately because the air has been a little drier, and so it can cool off better. But now the humidity is going to start increasing to the point to where even the nights are going to be very, very warm. So not much relief in that department. Now, Tuesday, because of the incredible amounts of heat and humidity, <laughs> we're going to have a 30% chance for a shower or storm. So maybe a few more of us can see these pop up in the afternoon. We've seen them pop up in the last few days. We saw some pop up yesterday. So we'll see more pop up today somewhere. Hopefully that'll be on your garden. Um, but on Tuesday, the rain chances go up, like I said, to 30%. And then look at that. Wednesday and Thursday, folks, the forecast is trending wetter for Wednesday and Thursday. It's a bit unusual for a frontal system, a cold front system, to make it this far south um, with the strength that we think this one might arrive with on Wednesday and Thursday. So that easily kicks off scattered and numerous showers and thunderstorms. And so let's hope and hope and hope and pray that the forecast continues to trend this direction because we are, we, some of us are getting desperate for rain. You know, I was over on Catoosa Wildlife Management Area yesterday, and as I was driving over there, they had had a heavy shower, and the ditch lines had water in them. There were mud puddles everywhere. I mean, the grass is green. It's, it's interesting to see how some areas just get it. They've got it two days in a row. And uh, they'll probably get it again today, but it's interesting how some, it's feast or famine. But uh, we are so thankful for at least a chance, it's looking like, for, uh, for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. Fingers crossed that forecast holds true. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic. And widespread severe weather is not expected, but you all know the drill. Any summer storm can have a punch to it, that is for sure. And I'll keep an eye on Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, it's not there's no clear indications of any severe weather threats with those showers and thunderstorms. But, um, but I'll certainly keep an eye on that for you. On this day, 1954, the low temperature of 85 degrees is Nashville's highest minimum temperature on record for Music City. An overnight low of 85 degrees. 1998, a widespread severe weather outbreak strikes Middle Tennessee with over six dozen reports of large hail damaging winds and two tornadoes. One of those was here on the plateau, tracked for 11 miles across Pickett and Fentress counties. The first tornado on record to occur in July in either county. Another, ca another tornado is captured on video by numerous residents as it moves to the Devil Springs area just west of Cookville. I remember when that happened. Hell up to the size of apples, as it was described. Fell across Cookville. So an interesting weather day in 1998. And of course, in light of this being an election year, and especially in light of events of yesterday, let's all join together and pray for our nation. I think that is that is needed now more than, than we've needed in a long time. You folks have a wonderful Sunday and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.